We're failing here. If it takes me more than three minutes to speak to you, then I've probably lost you. So how did our ability to pay attention vanish? Can we care for our environment and reverse the damage that we've caused our planet when we're unable to care for and maintain ourselves? Consider this. I was brutally attacked, physically, sexually, and emotionally, at the age of six. Horrifying nightmares drove me to seek refuge in my parents' room. Sadly, there was no refuge for me there because my father used me sexually as well. My mother's solution was to give me 50 cents a week so that I wouldn't disturb their sleep anymore. I promised to stay out of their room and I took my 50 cents and I bought as much candy as I could during my dissociated days. I consumed it greedily. My permanent teeth came through my gums already decayed. And thus, my need to shop for comfort was born. And here grew the roots of overconsumption, sugar addiction, substance abuse, <laughs> poor self-respect, and a feeling of helplessness. I was a lost soul. Far too many of us have suffered similar violence and abuse. We overconsume because we're a bottomless pit, unable to be satisfied materially, and so low in spirit that we've lost sight of where we're going. Meanwhile, we've depleted our own resources and the resources of our planet. My own experience tells me that we can change these harmful patterns of family history. And I believe we can restore our planet as well. I've observed in my life that when I'm greedy, I have terrible losses afterwards. And when I lend a hand to someone else, the most wonderful things appear in my life. I also notice that when I maintain a gentle, compassionate approach to life, the forgiveness, mindfulness, and loving kindness that I embody lead me to a sense of personal worth and peace of mind. A simple life works best. I ask you to think about all of this. Feel it. Learn to recognize the voice of your own intuition. At first, it speaks in a soft and very different way. When we choose to heed it and act in accord with it, we prosper. There is so much to discover. Even our red blood cells reflect our every emotion by either clumping together ineffectively when we consume an allergen or if we have a, a toxic emotion, but then if we're in a state of love or joy, our red blood cells float freely in a dance. They even live longer if we're in a state of bliss. As a stream flows, so does it purify, just as our being can clear its toxic waste and flow naturally. Actually, I want to know, are you still there? Three minutes have passed, but I'm asking you to stay with me longer. Our every action has the potential to make a tremendous difference. We urgently need to withdraw our energy and our financial support from inhumane corporations. We must grow more food, even if it's just sprouts on our kitchen windowsill. The time is right to trade and save our garden seeds. Google Johnny Appleseed and learn about a hero of our forefathers. We are rewarded spiritually, emotionally, when we lend a helping hand to support the life around us by watering a thirsty tree or planting a medicinal herb or flower. Satisfaction comes to us when our hands find what they like to do. Working with the earth will ground us. When we refuse excess consumption, we can focus on inventing, reusing, restoring, and recycling. If we can purify water with love and gratitude, 
And if we can change our blood cells merely by embodying an emotion, then what are we waiting for? The future is in our hands. There is power in numbers. I encourage you to find other kindred spirits to brainstorm with because cooperation is our most powerful and available resource. Have fun as I did by paying close attention to your dreams at night. They're the voice of our subconscious minds and they're full of insight, wisdom, and humor. When we choose, above all, to stay conscious, refusing to pollute mind, body, or spirit, the way is clear to fully realize our creative self. This will bring us joy. To suffer alone no longer works well But when our hearts sing we've broken the spell We see past our pain 